This design calls for movement of vehicles through this paved area down onto a porous based rather flatter area and some parking bays for the vehicles. If I select and I've brought this symbol from our library, I've been up to library details and gone down to vehicles where there are some standards symbols for vehicles and I've picked up the simple car symbol and I pick, and what I want to do is just test my design. I want to move the vehicle through here and around. Remember you are designing full size in CAD so you can experiment within the design. The block has been made such that the base point of the block, the block of the car, is in the center of the car and I should be able to simply click on that base point and move. But every time I try and do that, can you see the car jumps back to its original position. The reason for that is that Entity Snap is on, that's the red line down over here, but if I go over to my Entity Snap settings, you can see here that the designer is working with a lot of Entity Snaps on. That's fine later on in your skill set when you are aware of what's on and what's not and, and are happy about switching from uh, O-Snap on and O-Snap off. But for the moment, I want to clear all and OK it and I'll take O snap off. Now that I've done that, I can now start to move the vehicle wherever I want. And I can, so I'll move it into position here. I can also rotate it by clicking on that little handle. One tip, if you stay close to the, um, to the O snap point, the base point of the symbol, it's difficult to maneuver. But if you pull away a reasonable distance, you get relatively fine control over your block. So now as I move along, can you see that it, I can do a bit of fine tuning for aligning it, but can you see that the pad is not quite big enough for our standard symbol? Now that may be fine. Let's, let's move our standard symbol out of the way. That may be fine if Maybe the owner of this development, this house, uh, runs small European smart cars and they will fit very easily on that pad. Let's quickly measure that pad approximately its length. In most metric countries you want about 2.7, so it's plenty long enough uh, by, sorry, 2.7 width and then it should be about 5.5. So I'm making this video in Australia, so we'd be we'd be out around this area to make a pad and we want 5.5 long. So for me, that pad is really too small for what I'm after for parking. But do take note of, if you're, if you're designing for small vehicles, of course you can get away with a much smaller pad. But the point of the story is that in CAD, you are monitoring the real world and it does give you a chance to maneuver things like a vehicle around it also would give you a chance to maneuver things like a, uh, a wheelchair we've given you symbols of uh, a wheelchair in plan view and you can move a wheelchair in and around deck areas in and out of doorways just to make sure that the gap through here for the sake of argument is accessible to someone in a wheelchair 